Hey guys, welcome back. This weekend project is gonna be making some rope shelves. I start off by squaring off one of the corners. All you have to do is place down your speed square and use it as a guide for the circular saw. Then you go ahead and flip it over and measure your shelf length from there. I went with 24 inches because that fit my space pretty well. And again, you just use the speed square as a guide and make your cut. If you have a miter saw, I highly recommend you use it. It's gonna make this a lot more accurate and a lot quicker. But for the sake of this video, I used my circular saw because I just wanted to show how easy it was and that you didn't need an expensive tool to make these. So I chose to use white oak for my shelves. You can get this at a hardwood lumber supplier. You probably can't get it at Home Depot or Lowe's, so you'll have to go out looking for that. But I only paid about 10 bucks for the entire board, and I'm only using, it was a 10 foot board, I'm only using half of it for this project. So it's only about $5 of lumber. And other than that, all you need is some rope. So I opted for sisal rope, which I can find at Home Depot. It's 3 eighths of an inch and it comes in 25 foot lengths and it's only $5. So it's a really affordable option. So all in, you're sitting at $10 for these shelves. So what you see me doing here is marking out the drill locations for the holes. And I'm just going around and marking 3 quarters of an inch off of each corner. That way you can get a nice centered hole. Use whichever drill bits you want, but I always reach for a Forstner bit. They leave very clean holes and they're really quick as well. So for the next step, don't bother measuring out and marking the holes. Just lay that on top of it as a template, clamp it down and drill straight through. That's going to help make sure that you have perfectly symmetrical holes. After that, I go around and knock down the corners with some sandpaper by hand and move on to finishing. The finishing method that I chose is actually a Japanese finishing method. It's called Shosugiban. Uh, if I'm saying that wrong, you can correct me in the comments. But essentially, you are scorching the outside of the wood to help create a finish that's gonna help it be more flame retardant and rot resistant. I chose to do it because it's something I've seen a lot of other people do and it looked both really fun and looks really good. The best advice I have here is to not overdo it. A lot of people do and they just completely scorch the wood and I think it takes away a lot of the character. Anyway, then I moved on to finishing it up. I first ran over it with some 320 grit, just wanted to knock down any of the raised grain that came about from scorching it and then ran over it with a paper towel. We already gave this a really good sanding earlier so remember we're just touching it up, just giving it some finishing touches here. And with that, we're ready for assembly. So go ahead and take your sisal rope and cut it into about six to seven foot lengths. You just need to make sure that you have enough for it to go up and back and then have room for adjustment. What you see me doing here with the tape measure is determining the height of that first shelf. So obviously make this to fit your space. If you know 10 inch shelves work great, go for it. If you actually want more of a 12 inch shelf, Go for it. Um, I opted for the 10 because it, it looked better with where I was putting it in my house. So just do what looks good for you. So this here is why you want to leave some slack so that you can adjust it and make sure it's perfectly level. And once you have it there, you go ahead, trim off the excess. I like to leave about an inch of slack. And then I move on to the last step. So I like to run over it with my blowtorch one more time and just burn off any of the fraying. Um, I think this just helps clean up the aesthetic. And with that, we're done. These shelves were great. I built them in less than an hour and paid only $10 for them. So that's it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.